I am going to show you how to view your students progress within your course and kind of give you a few easy ways to sort through that information. To start off, you need to be in your Canvas class period that you want to view the students and their information. Then on the right hand side, you'll notice it says new analytics. It may show up on your navigation as well, but it'll for sure be over here on the right. So you're going to click on new analytics. This new analytics is going to give you course grade, weekly online activity, which shows you the page views for your course and participations for the course. And then also a students tab, which gives you some information about the last time they participated in your class, last time they viewed your page, how many page views they have, and things like that. Something important to remember with this information is that it's not updated daily. So the last time that this report was updated is April 12th at 8 p.m. And I'm currently filming this on April 14th. So this is not something you would want to use daily to keep track of your students, but it's a good tool to use at the end of the week to kind of give you an overview of what students you may need to contact or what parents you need to reach out to because the child hasn't viewed your course or hasn't started working on assignments in your class. So one tool that I like in this is you are able to sort it by class period. So if you wanted just your six period class, you could click on that and it would show you in green just that class period. So then you can kind of see, okay, in that class period, how many students are doing this, 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 or not logging on or things like that. Another feature that I like within this weekly online activity is you're able to message students who. So if you click on that, you'll notice that it pops up with four different options. You can message students who viewed a resource, didn't view a resource, participated, and didn't participate. In my kind of trial and error with this, the participate and didn't participate doesn't always line up as perfectly, but the view and didn't view is a good tool that you can use. For participate and didn't participate, I like to use the access report a little bit better as of now because they're still working through some kinks within this new analytics. So if I go to didn't view and then I go to my resources, then I can see what students didn't view my distance learning number one Nearpod and it'll show the one student. I can click on that student to see who that child is and then I can send them a message saying you need to complete this assignment. So then I know they didn't view the page, so they obviously didn't complete the assignment. So that's just one more way to message and keep track of that with the students and then I can send it to them. Another feature that I like is on the students tab. If I am trying to see when students have logged in or haven't logged into my course, and uh, trying to keep track with contacting parents and things like that. This is a really, really, really helpful feature because I can sort it by class period, whereas the people tab you cannot do. So if I was going to my six period, for example, right now it is sorting it by my student's last name. You can see the little caret next to it means that's what is being sorted. If you click on last page view, which is the last time they accessed my course, not Canvas in general, but my particular course. If I click on that header, the caret moves next to that, and then I can see the last dates that they viewed my course. Remember, this is not updated on a daily basis though. So the last time this was updated was on April 12th, which I believe is a Sunday. And so April 10th is up to date because that would be a Friday for this child. But these two children, they did not log in for the rest of the week up until Friday. Um, so that would kind of give me an overview of those are students that I need to reach out to for that week that didn't sign into my course. So then I can move over to the people's tab because like I mentioned, that is a little bit more helpful to see a daily updated view. So I'll remember this child's name and then I'll come over here to my people tab on the navigation. I'm gonna change all roles to just the students. I don't want to see the observers for now. And then I am going to search for that child's name. 
Once I have the child's name, I can come over here to these three dots and go to user details. Once in user details on the right hand side, you will see access report. So this report is updated daily or consistently, whereas the last one is only weekly. So now I can see for that child, oh, actually they last viewed my course an hour ago. Whereas on the other one, it was showing that they didn't log in all last week, but now this week they're doing better and they've logged in. And it shows me exactly what assignments they've done. They went to the attendance for the week. They viewed my announcements. They went to the lessons page, things like that. So it kind of gives me an overview on if they are staying up to date or if after that report was run, if they went through and completed things. And if they haven't, then it gives me a nice overview when I'm contacting parents to say, this is where they went within my course and how many times they viewed it. Here's when they viewed it with a timestamp and everything like that. So it's just really helpful to kind of keep the students accountable for completing their work while we're doing this distance learning. So hopefully that was helpful for you. Remember, new analytics is the first one that's updated weekly. It's helpful because you can sort it by class periods and also because you can message students who didn't view particular resources or assignments. You can go to the students part to view class by class and then sort it by the last page view to kind of narrow it down instead of having to scroll through all of them in the people tab. But that people tab is going to be most beneficial when you're looking at particular students and trying to get their activity that's updated. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out.